Hey, thanks so much for clicking on this video and welcome to the haves and the have nots review here on YouTube. If you're a fan of Tyler Perry, you've come to the right place. Be sure to click that subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content on the channel. And also check me out on these social media platforms and links in the description below will lead you to my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook group, and Facebook page. Once again, thanks for joining in and enjoy the video. All right, have and have not fans. Once again, uh, welcome to the channel. I'm um, definitely a privilege to speak with you all. I know I'm being a bit formal in this video, but it's really because I want to address the haves and the have not community as a whole. And um, really, I want to ask the question, what exactly should happen to Veronica? It seems whenever, whenever, it doesn't matter when or what for, form, whether it be a video, a tweet, a post on my Instagram or on the um, Facebook group and page I have. It's almost like a division. It's almost like, you know, people who say, you know what? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. But then you don't want to wake up in the morning. It's like, I just want to sleep all. I want I gotta get out of bed. You, you know what I mean? Where it's like you, you, you don't want one thing to happen, but you also don't want another thing to happen. It's like, man, if I'm alive, that means I got to get out of bed at some point, but it feels so good. But when you're dead, you have no choice. You, you know, I know it's kind of a, a cryptic example but it's almost halloween so why not but veronica i don't really know it's like the question is what should happen to veronica what do you think should happen to veronica what will happen to veronica and anytime an episode airs after the episode everybody's like man this is boring this sucks veronica needs to go she's not paying for any of her crimes she's not going to jail um and pretty much david has said what I've been saying for a while, it doesn't matter what happens to Veronica, her reach will still impact other people in a negative way, whether she's out of jail, whether she's in jail. And I even went as so far to do a video about even if, in my opinion, even if Veronica died, it wouldn't matter because people would still suffer because of that. This goes back to the episode, what was it? Um, the puzzle pieces or whatever, pretty much telling Jim about how if those, if anything happened to her, she has dirt on, I mean, I'm just paraphrasing what she said before, lack of a better phrase. She has dirt on everyone. And if anything ever happened to her, their lives would be hell, even if she is in hell. That's pretty much the synopsis there. And I believe that too, because I've always thought, you know what, what if let's say, and I'm just going to, you know, lowball it. Let's say 15 years in the future. And this is assuming, and l let me think about season four. No, no, yeah, let's think season four. Uh, going back to season four, forget season five, forget everything in 2018. Let's think back to like 2017 here. Let's say if we fast forward 15 years from season four, Jeffrey and Melissa are married. They have a teenage child. I'm not going to say son or daughter because Veronica was certain it was a, grandson but we don't know but you know what this is just a, fan a fantasy let's just say it's a grandson okay so melissa jeffrey or mary teenage um son veronica has passed away they're at the weeding why did i say weeding they're at the <laughs> i'm thinking about uh, i was watching looney tunes earlier today so elmer fudd <laughs> weeding they're they're reading the will you know um I i'm guessing like a lawyer's in there with the family reading the will um I'll say David is, I'll say David is passed on as well. Yeah, I'm, let's just say it's nothing but Jeffrey lost both his parents. It's just Jeffrey and Melissa in the room. And I could see the lawyer saying like, hey, um, your mother left this video will or whatever. Pretty much, you know, I don't know what they'll be using in 15 years. Probably DVD still. I don't know. But they pop in the video. Veronica comes on the screen, evil as ever, ever, probably in her hospital bed. And she's just talking down to Jeffrey, even from beyond the grave. It's kind of like, look, boy, if you think that I'm, now that I'm gone, you could just go out and rant and sleep with all the men you want. Guess again, because if you ever step out of your marriage or you are caught in any position with another man, such and such will happen to you. Basically, I could see Veronica being that big of a bitch. I could see that happening. But that was just an example of how even if Veronica's dead, her evilness will still be alive. Now, what I'm getting at here is that whenever I make these posts, you know, people are like, she needs to get what she deserves. She needs to get what's coming to her. But then when I even, and I'm not pointing people out, I'm just talking about 
what a mass majority of people respond with whenever I do a video or whatever. So it's not a negative um, video I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to gauge the audience here. What exactly do you want to have to happen to Veronica? Because for everybody that wants her to pay for her crimes and whatnot, it really won't matter because, well, her reach would still extend. Even if she died, the same thing would happen. But for everyone who says she should pay for what she's done, what exactly do you mean? Do you want her to face the legal system? Do you want somebody to do to her what she's done to everybody else? And then on the other hand, if Veronica were to die, there's a huge chunk of the people. Veronica is the heart and soul of the show, which she doesn't seem to have any of herself. Veronica is the heart and soul of the show. If she died, I want to quit watching. I really don't see why people say that. I want to be completely honest here. I don't think Veronica is the most interesting character on the show. In my opinion, she has not been interesting in quite some time, but she's not keeping me in the driver's seat of watching the show, and she hasn't made me dislike the show. It's just her character that needs work, in my opinion. I don't hate Veronica. I just wish Tyler Perry would give her more depth. That's just my opinion. If if you if you had a dollar for every time I mentioned that in the video, all of you would have enough money to pretty much start your own network like Oprah Winfrey did. But all I'm saying is I don't really see why people say that Veronica is the heart and soul of the show, because in my opinion, she really took over in season three. Season two was the starting point, but season three was when I felt Veronica truly became a pillar in the haves and the have nots. But as time went on, I definitely see some fractures and cracks beginning to form in the pillar itself because she's become a bit boring. I mean, even now, more people are complaining, like I said in my other video, making reasonable uh, grievances to the character because now it seems she's once again reenacting the same plan of getting a girl and getting Jeffrey to get her pregnant, to have a grandchild. And a lot of people before the plan, I mean, before even meeting the girl, people are already sick of it. It's like, here we go, the same damn shit. Veronica needs to stop. I don't want Veronica to be killed off, honestly. I just want her to move on with her life. I want to be completely honest here. I don't see why she's doing this, but I, hey, that's just my opinion on that. But once again, I want to ask the question, what do you think should happen to Veronica? Because once again, the people who want her to pay and whatnot, some people want her to die are sometimes the same people as like, man, if she dies, I want to quit watching the show. And like I said before, I don't think her dying would do anything to the show in a negative impact. If anything, it might actually do a lot of good because it will actually make the other characters step up because there's no telling what hell she has in store for them once she passes on. So those are just my thoughts. Um, of course, you can let me know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll talk to you all in the next video.